Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is Thursday, July 22nd, 2021, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. We saw gold touch some lows today that we haven't seen. Uh, 1791. That's about two dollars below the 100-day moving average, but it ended up closing higher on the day, up about five dollars and well above 1800. That is important. In terms of silver, we saw a big burst yesterday. We saw a continuation of that today, gaining about 25 uh, cents on the day. We'll talk about both markets during the show, which begins now. Traders, I believe it was an exceptional day for gold. And I'm not talking about the fact that it closed up $3.80 and is currently at 1807.20. I'm talking about the low achieved intraday, and that came in at 1791.30. That's right around the 100 day moving average. That, of course, is a significant and I believe critical price point. So we did see a lower low, but it closed higher on the day and it is really in a hammer formation. That tells me that as long as this particular price point holds, again, we are talking about the 100-day moving average. There's a corresponding retracement level of 50% that's also important. Then we should see this market rise. We first have to break above 1861. But we have to break this high to genuinely say that we are in a rally mode. We have to get a higher high during this rally with the peaks and valleys. This, of course, is a valley that we're looking at now. But once this concludes, I believe we'll see a tick up. I'll talk about that during the charts. We are currently looking at a daily chart of gold. We have a basic FIB retracement, which is the longest retracement that we use. I've just compressed the chart. It begins at the lows of March 2020 up to the all-time record high, which is 2,088. And what you can see is this 50% retracement is a pretty critical area in a couple of different price points. Of course, here we have tested that. We have come a little bit below that. And you can, it also matches up with this low in December. So we have looked at that as a critical price point on our long-term, on our short-term charts. It is the 100-day moving average and a, another retracement level that comes in in the same price, which is approximately 1795. This is the shorter data set that I'm talking about. It really begins at this double bottom. You can see it's fixed to this low here. That low comes in approximately $1,677, up to the highs that were achieved right at the beginning of June, and that comes in right around 1920. When we do that, what we can see is that these recent lows that came in originally came in at around the 61.8% retracement level. But when we add the 50% retracement level, which I have just done, that is this dashed line right here. That comes in roughly at $1,797. We have the 100-day moving average at $1,793. And that really is the critical price points that we need gold to hold. You can see the small line here. I'll go ahead and enlarge the chart. And that represents trading in Australia. We're currently at 1807.60. It's showing it up $2.20 from the close in New York. Maintain your current long position. Maintain your stop. And traders, there's no doubt, I am getting bullish about silver. It broke above 2511. That was a key point for us. But when we look at the daily chart, we had the tremendous rise that came in yesterday. And that was after really the market had been sinking for three consecutive days, giving up a lot of money because it really began at about 2650, traded down to these lows below 25. Yesterday brought it back above and now we're at, let's call it uh, 25. 50 per ounce, but I am solidly believing that we could see a nice bounce in silver. We'll look at a couple of charts and talk about it. We are looking at a daily candlestick chart of silver. We also have a basic Fibonacci retracement that begins at the lows of about $23.70 up to these highs that occur near $28 right in here. You can see that the 78% retracement, that's the drop that occurred after this rally here, and then it started to move up. We've had a solid day yesterday. We saw follow through buying today, and it was quite interesting, in fact, because when we look at today's activity, although it is a small bodied candle, we did get a higher high, 
and a higher low. This technically would either be an engulfing bullish, although it doesn't completely cover the real body of the prior red candle. If it doesn't, it would be a strong piercing line. But what is most interesting is when we look at the trading activity currently in Australia, it is up past the close of New York and very, very near the highs of the day, currently trading at 2549 up 11 cents from New York close. Traders, we're looking for follow through tomorrow. And if we get that on Friday, and then we see a solid continuation on Sunday in Australia, that would trigger us to recommend initiating a long position in silver. And if that happens, we of course will send out a special trade alert via email and SMS text message. On tomorrow's show, we'll talk about the various resistance levels if we see a continuation of this two-day V formation in silver in which it hit a bottom and has moved off. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up and review. We'll also include an interview done today with Kitco News and David Lynn. Have a great day. Bye-bye.